This is Andy Paul of Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We are in London and I am joined by Mark Chamberlain, fresh off his unanimous decision victory tonight against Mark Vidal. Mark, congratulations. I see you with that IBF European title over your shoulder there. Just a yeah, little kiss. Um, talking about your performance, your win, a tougher fight than maybe people would have thought beforehand. Yeah, um, like I was just saying in an interview and the other day, I need these sort of opponents now. I want to start pushing on. There's no point me keep fighting journeymen, no disrespect, they're all fighters, but I need to start pushing on now to get to this next level and I'm not going to get a title like this fighting journeyman. So I took on Mark Vidal, 20 fights, two losses, great record, been in there with a, top, a lot of top names, I fought at European level, so it proves what level I should be on. You come away with a win, 100 to 90 on the scorecards. The win's the most important thing, but for yourself now, how much do you feel you've actually, when you look back, you'll be able to say, I've learned so much from this fight in comparison to past ones when you've blown out your opponents in the early rounds? Yeah, I'm quite glad I didn't stop him in the first round. I know I had him rocked, but like I just said in the other interview, I've done 10 rounds then. I've never done 10 rounds. I learned a lot more in them 10 rounds than I have in my last five fights. So. The experience is great, you can't buy experience. So I'm, I'm absolutely happy that I got the 10 rounds in. Obviously I, I hurt him in seven or eight, was very close to being stopped, but it's not all about the stoppage. I'd rather experience over stoppage wins. You was close as well in the 10th round to stopping him in the final, uh, final mat moments of the fight. Did you feel like there was an opportunity there or? Uh, no, I didn't want to mess anything up because I'd obviously had a good performance. I didn't want to let it slip and take one on the chin obviously I can take a bang but you don't know what can happen anything can happen so I didn't want to let all that good work go to waste well, just just reflect on the fight for me from the beginning then up until the 10th just talk me back through it uh, from round one so round one obviously I caught him on the chin rocked him a little bit uh, and then I think he must have thought oh there is a bit of power there but I don't think he was scared he was coming forward he carried on I think after five or six he sort of slowed down kept moaning about the heads and the ref and that, but he kept giving me sly digs when the ref was breaking us apart. So I just thought, whatever, I'm not going to moan about it. He kept moaning about it, just get on with it. Even the ref was going, fight on. So it, then things happen, don't they? It's a fight, you're not going to go, oh, sorry. <laughs> forget about the title, forget about rankings and what have you, but do you feel like this has potentially been the most rewarding fight of your career because of how difficult it was in terms of just getting to the 10 rounds and being able to experience that for the first time? 100%, um, obviously I'm over the moon, uh, like I said, you can't buy experience, so I'm here now, I've got a great title on my shoulder, and I'm ready to keep pushing forward and climb that mountain to the top. I'm sure when I ask this, you know, what next will probably be a cheeseburger or some food of, of your sorts, but what is next in terms of your boxing career? Uh, I'm not too sure, I'm going to have a week out of the gym, enjoy some food, family time. Uh, hopefully get back out again before Christmas, get a defence in and then see where we get in the new year. Final one though Mark, how are you celebrating tonight? Get some food, catch up with friends and family, chill out, and go to Burger and Lobster tomorrow and enjoy some great food. Right, Mark, listen, I hope you can kind of fill yourself up as much as possible over the next few days. I'm sure you won't be able to when you're back in the gym. So thanks be to me and Vox Social. 100%, thank you.